What is going on, family? It's your boy, Brandon, BK Kessler, the pinch of wear out your hierro. We are back here in the studio, Cabo One, and today we're gonna to be going over luxury homes in Cabo San Lucas. Nope, luxury homes in San Jose del Cabo. Usually, I like to talk a lot about Cabo San Lucas, but today, we're gonna to go up just the road, literally, Depends which way you go, but 30 minutes away. San Jose del Cabo, it's a bit different than San Lucas. It's more chill, relaxing. It's more of a mature crowd, a retirement community, if you will. A lot of the properties that they have in San Jose are magnificent. We're talking multi-million dollar properties. We are going to start out that about $17 million. We're gonna work our way down to $1 million. And this is going to be a November market update for San Jose del Cabo. And at the end of the video, if you guys could, I'd like you guys to mark which villa you guys think is the best. Which number? Just a little bitty number. Put it in the comment. Blah. Number one on the list for our market update, luxury homes, Villa del Mar, Yagado Siete. This is six bedrooms, almost 11,000 square feet. This is pre-construction. The price, guys, $17 million. Not doll hairs, dollars. That is a gi friggin' enormous house. So they got the total square feet, 10,975, but they've also got the AC square feet at 10,975. How can that be? How can you be a listing agent and have the AC square footage the exact same as the total square footage? It's impossible. Let me know in the comments. Is that impossible? I think it is. I'm looking at a pool here. That square footage, that's not AC unless they got a little bubble around this house. At any rate, this house is gorgeous. Let's move on here. Number two, number two, Casa Estrella. This is five bedrooms, 11,000 square feet, and this is $15 million. This is uh, completed, so we've got an AC square feet of 8,500 and total square feet 11,000. Now this makes more sense. I think uh, the other one we had some sort of an issue. So this is in Palmia, of course, on the ocean side. A lot of these are gonna be in Palmia or Carencia. Those are you know, two of the top communities. Of course, we're gonna have an ocean view, five beds, six full baths, one half bath, two car garage. Looks beautiful and I love this style. When, when you think about a Mexican, a Mexican villa, I mean, this is gorgeous. Look at that chandelier, big open floor plan, very colonial. I'm curious too as to what you guys like. Do you guys prefer the modern style? the colonial style, the boho chic style. Let me know in the comments what you guys like. I'm curious. All right here, number three, Espiritu Estate de Ocho. Seven beds, 11,000 square feet, 11 million bucks, no seller financing. Guess who does have seller financing? Your boy. If you need something with seller financing, hit me up. I'm the guy for that. I always got some deals. In Palmia again, Total bathrooms, seven, two half baths. This is of course a master community, contemporary style. Amenities, gonna pull up those amenities. It's probably gonna have everything I would imagine. Bar, yes. Deck, yes. Fireplace, yes. Hot tub, yes. Pool, heater, yes. Interior features, yes. Terrace, yes. Barbecue, yes. Fire pit, yes. Fountain, yes. Pool, yes. Secondary kitchen, yes. Spa, yes. Exterior features, yes. This, why don't you got a TV though, bro? You got a $12 million house and you can't afford a TV? Come on, bro. I just bought myself an 85. It's got that 85, boy. What you think about that? I know you guys been who've been following me. I've been looking at different cars to buy. I was looking at some Lambos. I was looking at some McLarens. I was looking at a ton of different really cool cars. I worked my butt off 16 hours a day, 18 hours a day, seven days a week. I had bought, I had already bought a new Mercedes, which was a, you know, just more of a, a basic C-class. It's new, it's nice, gets me from A to B. The problem was if I had another client get in the car with me and say, hey, my wife has this exact same car. Or if I had to hear, hey, my daughter has that exact same car. I was going to kill 
So your boy went out, he bought himself a dope whip. I'm gonna tell you guys at the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think. Next up we have Villas at La Montaña. $7,800,000, four beds, 4,600 square feet. And this is, this is completed, ready to go. Financing, bank financing is accepted. Total square feet, 4,600. AC square feet, 4,600. Again, is this possible? Not sure, I don't think so. Four baths, total bedrooms, four bedrooms, three half baths. Uh, two story, one and a half garage stalls. Let's go to the pictures. Beautiful view there. Love the fire pit. Love the infinity pool. I love that wall behind there. That's exactly what I want to do in my house, actually. High enough up to where nobody's ever going to block the view. I love the accent walls here. The photos are so nice that it almost looks like a render. A lot of people here like the single level because, you know, it's accessible for Elderly people, those are very popular in Cabo San Lucas and San Jose. Most people that have this kind of money are a bit older. Going up and down stairs becomes an issue. So that being said, single level homes become very popular. And I know of some very awesome single level homes that are pre-construction, currently 900,000. When they're done and built, they're gonna be one five. And when the whole project's done, they're gonna be between two five Three. Next up we have La Residencias Cuatro. Four beds, 4,227 square feet, $6,200,000. This is pre-construction. This has bank financing, total square feet, 4,227, and AC square feet, 4,227. Again, how is that possible? If you're a $6 million listing agent and you don't know how to do it, it drives me freaking crazy. I've seen other properties, $4 million properties, they're in the wrong zone. They're supposed to be in a, in a luxury community zone, but they have them positioned in central Cabo San Lucas. Well, why haven't they sold for six months? Why haven't they sold for, you know, there's another property on here for 20 million. They have never changed the listing. They never changed the pictures. They never changed anything. You need, if you want a good listing agent, find one. He's right here. This kind of stuff drives me nuts. So this is beautiful position up on the cliff here. Obviously, you're gonna have a forever view. That is amazing. Beautiful floor plan. Next up, we have La Residencia 6. So these are gonna be very similar. This one's a little less. A little smaller, this is a three bed, 3,700 square feet. It's the same thing, it's the mini. It's the little baby brother. Horizontes, Lot Ocho, Casa, Q8. And this is a four bed, basically 8,000 square feet, located in the private Gulf Beach community of Carincia. You know that you guys know I love Carincia. This is a good price. Honestly, for Carencia, this is a very good price. Horizontes, a little more basic than uh, some of the other ones I've seen. I actually have some other ones out there that are a little more than this, right at 5'5", five, five, and I would say, honestly, quite a bit better. I'll put a link in, and you guys can tell me if you think this is better, or if you think uh, the properties that I have are better. You tell me. Moving on now, we're still in Carencia, and this is Horizontes, Carencia, Villa 15, basically $4 million, five beds, 10,000 square feet. Actually, I have toured this property. I've made a video of this. I will put a link into this where you can view it right here, or maybe it's right here. It's gonna be in one of those spots. This thing is built on a cliff and the retainer wall alone was like a million dollars. The photos don't quite do the justice. You really need to see the property. They did a style, every room has its own style. Like this is a, kind of got an African feel to it. You know, a lot of the f furniture and a lot of the stuff was brought in from all over the world. The jacuzzi, the fire pit. I think if you watch the video, you'll see the difference. We did have some audio issues on the video, unfortunately. For Carencia, for this price, this is a very nice property. And of course, Carencia has one of the you know, top golf courses as well. It's the most, ex one of the most exclusive communities. Nothing in Carencia is, is inexpensive. 
I think, you know, one of the most affordable places is like a couple million dollars. So it's not like other communities where people can kind of get in, you know, at a lower price. Very, very exclusive, very family friendly. They have an application that you can set up to your phone, which tells you, you know, okay, they have kids, uh, golf practice at five and women's yoga at three and pickleball at four and very very cool i love the little bar that they have there well they have you know multiple but they have uh, you know just so much to do okay last on the list is cali barbara 101 lucas condo so we've got a condo this is two bedrooms 3362 square feet for 1.2 million dollars this is located in El Tule, uh, right in the Golden Corridor, 20 minutes from San Lucas. So this is completed, and this is total square foot, 3,362 AC square foot, 1,800. That makes sense. The deck and patio square feet, uh, 1,318. That also makes sense. Year built, 2023, it's brand new. Master plan, I like it. Accent lighting in the roof, I'm really getting into, into that. This newly built, two bedroom, two bathroom condo is centrally situated in El Tuli, the heart of the Golden Corridor, 20 kilometers from the famous Cabo San Lucas Marina and 35 kilometers from the Los Cabos International Airport. This 3,364 square foot single level property offers smart home features, including wireless remote access security systems, audio, lighting, smart utilities, and appliances. Floor to ceiling windows fill the rooms with light, while well insulated walls maintain a comfortable, cool atmosphere throughout the year. The outdoor dining area, private saltwater pool, fire pit, an expansive terrace provide a seamless extension of the interior to create an indoor-outdoor living space, allowing residents to enjoy El Tuli's peaceful atmosphere. That's our market update for November. Oh, you guys are wondering, what is the car that I bought? What did BK buy? Did he buy the Lambo? Did he buy the McLaren? Did he get a Porsche? No, I'm not a Porsche guy. I'm gonna tell you this, the roads in Cabo are too damn low. I was considering like a Lambo just because everybody said no. I just, I'm a, I'm a contrarian. I always want to do the opposite. Your boy got himself a G-Wagon and I am in love with it. At first, I didn't understand the price points on them. They didn't make sense to me. I just didn't see, I've drove a Mercedes like my whole life. I've, I love Mercedes. I love German engineering, but man, for Cabo San Lucas, there's not a better vehicle than a G-Wagon. I mean, I've, I have a friend who has a really nice Audi SUV. That's awesome as well. Uh, of course, Jeeps are great here, but the G-Wagon, it is a tank, bro. It is awesome. I mean, I'm just in love with it. The, the horsepower, the torque, I mean, bro. And the ladies next, snap, 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 snap. Snap, snap, snap. Just murdering people on the streets. It's a beast. Love it, absolutely love it. When you see me out there rolling, say, what up, BK? Guys, thank you so much. It is very late. It's like midnight. I was up since seven doing showings. I mean, I put in hours, guys. I do 17, 18 hours a day sometimes. So please just do me one favor, like and subscribe, comment something. I'm curious as to which is your favorite property. And guys, you guys always know too, if you guys wanna view any kind of properties, if you guys wanna view a property, please send me a message. I would love to take you on a tour, show you some properties, set you up on MLS so you can view properties beforehand. Uh, if you got a property that you wanna sell, I am the best in the business, currently number one, not just in Cabo, not just in Mexico, but in Latin America. If you guys really, you know, if you want your property sold, I'm the guy to do it. So send me a message, guys. Also, of course, I've got my whole team that helps out. Cabo One, I'm tired, I need some sleep. I will see you on the next video.